So hi guys and welcome back. Today we will do a quick unboxing of the Scorpion Sky Strider, that's a 280 size frame and the Scorpion motors which are supposed to be used with this frame. Let's take a look at the packaging here. So you can see that the Scorpion motor stealth edition. A nice sticker there. Scorpion power system designed in Germany, assembled in China. The power system of champions. So let's take a look. <coughs> so it comes in this in this nice plastic casing as you can see and here we can see what it is it's a 2205 motor with 2350 uh, kV so let's see what we get here so this is really nicely packaged as you can see so we have here on top we have some uh, general maintenance rules which is really nice so one can see this is supposed to be a high quality so you get all this stuff the user guide for the M22 uh, XX series brushless DC multicopter motors so what else do we get here some stickers which you can use and this is nice as well and of course the motor itself so let's take it out and we'll take a look. It has a really nice feel to it. So I will try to give it some... You can see it there. Okay. So it also comes with a serial number. In order to avoid copies of it. And you can see it looks quite nice. I'm actually looking forward to using this. It also feels quite lightweight, so we will take a look at the weight in a second. So that's nice. Okay, so what else is in there? Let's take a look. <coughs> So of course the mounting materials, so there are some screws there. And then we got the second motor. Which see here. So these always come in a pair of two, as you can see here. And this is the second one. And they are, yeah, they are CV and CCV, so clockwise and counterclockwise paired. You can see. that they also come with different nuts on the top just so you can see which is which and there are also these arrows here as you can see to give you an idea if this is the, the clockwise or the counterclockwise version of this motor <coughs> so what else do we have here and of course the mounting screws for the other motor so that is it Let's take a look at the at the manual here. If there is something interesting in it. Motor installation, general maintenance. So you can just press stop now in the video, pause the video now, you can read this if you like. And then <coughs> the general features of the motors and a warranty. So this, this looks really nice. So let's take a look at the weight of this motor. So let's see. Yeah, you can see it nice. <coughs> so that motor comes in at 32 grams, which is really nice. So it's really nice for a 2205 motor. We will of course do thrust tests of this motor, not in this video, but in a future video. And I'm really looking forward to see how this motor compares to my previously tested D motor F40 and of course the storm motors which I tested previously. So we will see. So, so much for the motor. We will also take a quick look at the Sky Strider itself. 
which these motors are supposed to be mounted on. So as you can see, the packaging again is really nice. You can already get an idea of what this baby looks like. The Scorpion Sky Strider 280. Again, the same info as on the motors. But that's really nice. Let's put the scales away for a bit. And as you can see here, <coughs> it comes with this nice uh, picture of the frame, which looks really interesting. And of course, some instructions for downloading the manual and so on. Really nice. <coughs> and then we of course have all the stuff here. So I will, I will just hold it into the camera so we are, here we have the arms and everything belonging to them then these side bars here which look really really nice really cool a really cool looking frame and then we have here the, the bottom plate and the top plate of course which is all seems all to be carbon fiber that is really nice so what we will do now is to just get a general idea of the weight of this. We will not build this frame up yet, as this is only a quick unboxing review. But I want to get a general idea of the weight of this frame. And the build up of this frame will be in a future video, where we of course also use these great motors. So let's just see, of course. As I always say, <coughs> take this with a grain of salt because there are many parts uh, included which might not be needed for the final assembly. So the final assembly weight will be a lot less than what is shown here. Also because all the plastic packaging will not be included. So let's see, here we have the sidebars and the arms. arms so you can see we arrive at 271 grams the final weight of this uh, uh, of this frame will be a lot less because of what I said before so but you can give that can give you a general idea of this frame <coughs> so this is it for this quick unboxing so this 280 uh, quad should be very nice. It easily supports six inch props So you can it can also be a bit more efficient than smaller uh, quads So basically this concludes our quick unboxing of this What we will do next is do thrust measurements for these motors so that you can compare these to the new T motor f40 and of course uh the storm motors and any other motors which you can find thrust measurements on. And then when we did this, uh, these thrust measurements, <coughs> we will actually build this up, of course, using these motors. And I'm really looking forward to it. I like the idea of having a bit of a, a larger quad. So I'm really looking forward to this. Please keep watching my channel for these coming up videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching this quick unboxing review. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon.